Imagine turning your own photo, your friend's pictures, or even a celebrity's image into an incredible 3D character with just a few clicks. But the real secret lies in choosing professional styles, unlocking hidden settings, and using special tricks that take your results from ordinary to extraordinary. If you don't watch until the end, you might miss the most important tips, so stay focused and follow this practical tutorial to experience the power of AI in transforming images. Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. The first step is to visit the AI powered website design. We need to create a user account. So, I'll click on the Start for Free button located in the top right corner of the website. You can sign up using either your personal email or a Gmail account. Here, I'll select Continue with Google, choose one of my logged in Gmail accounts. And just like that, without any hassle and in the simplest way possible, I have successfully created an account and entered my dashboard in Design AI. This is the Design AI dashboard. It offers numerous powerful features which I will cover in future tutorials. But today, we're focusing on converting normal images into 3D animations and Pixar Disney-style cartoons. In the top left corner of the website, I'll click on the profile icon. Here, you can access profile settings such as changing your plan, updating your username, or even deleting your account. By clicking on credit, we can view the available subscription plans. Upon signing up, Design AI grants you 32 free tokens, which automatically recharge daily. The free plan includes features like text to image, image to image, and a few other options, which can be used within the daily token limit. However, premium features like image to 3D model or face swap are only available in paid plans. Additionally, in the free plan, all generated images come with a watermark, and the option to remove the watermark is exclusive to premium plans. Let's get to the main part. I'll click on new project. Now we need to set up the canvas. First, I'll enter a name for the new project. In the aspect ratio section, to create a horizontal HD canvas, I'll set the ratio to 16 to 9. A bit further down, I'll enter 1280 720 as the resolution. Then I'll click apply. Now we need to upload an image of our choice. This can be a personal photo a picture of a friend or family member, or even a celebrity. To do this, I'll click on the upload button in the top left corner. A new window will pop up, allowing me to select and upload my desired image. Depending on your internet speed, the image will upload in a short time and appear in the workspace. Now, since we want to change the style of the image, I'll click on IMG to IMG. This will open the image to image panel on the right side. Design AI offers a wide variety of preset styles, including anime, paper cutout, cartoon, watercolor, and many more. To access these styles, simply click on the No Style tab. A drop-down list with dozens of exciting styles will appear. The styles are categorized, and you can navigate through them using the menu on the left. I'll click on 3D, which will display all styles that convert images into 3D designs. I highly recommend testing all of them to see how they affect your images and which one suits your preference the best. Among the 3D styles, I'll select Innocent Cutie. You can also enter a prompt for specific modifications, or you can leave this field blank and explore other options. Below the prompt box, there is a style intensity setting. This option adjusts how strongly the chosen style is applied to the final image. From my tests, a value of 0.7 worked well for me. Further down, you'll find the Structure Match option. This setting adjusts how well the generated image matches the original composition in terms of content structure. From my tests, the very similar setting, which corresponds to 0.7, worked best for me. A bit further down, there's the Color Match option. This setting helps preserve the color tones in key areas of the image and also strengthens the Structure Match. Below that, you'll see the Face Match option. This setting preserves facial identities, ensuring the final result stays true to the original face. 
Once these settings are adjusted, I'll click on Generate, which will deduct 8 tokens from my balance. The request is now queued, and after a short processing time, for generated images will appear in the results panel on the right side. I'll hover the cursor over these thumbnails to review the 3D and cartoon stylized images. This way, the images are displayed in larger sizes, making it easier to compare them with the reference photos. When hovering over the thumbnails, a small download icon appears, allowing me to save the images. Features like variation, face swap, enhance and upscale, an AI editor will be covered in future tutorials, so stay tuned, exciting content is on the way. By clicking on any of the images, I can view them in a new gallery and browse through them. In this section, the download button is also located below each frame. The images look decent, but let's tweak the settings a bit. One of the golden secrets to achieving the highest similarity to the reference image in 3D cartoon style is the structure match option. In my next test I'll set it to quite strict, which corresponds to 0.9. After making this adjustment, I'll click on generate again, deducting another 8 tokens from my balance. The request is processed, and after a short wait, four new images are generated and displayed in the results panel on the right. Let's review the new images. By double-clicking on any thumbnail, I can add my selected image to the workspace. Next, I'll click on the Layers tab. This panel is similar to what you'd find in Photoshop. Using the Hide and Show option, I can compare the generated images with the reference photo. Once I've selected my preferred layer, I'll click on the Export button located at the top right corner of the website. In the Export window, under File Type, I'll choose JPEG as the image format from the available options. The PSD format is only available in the Premium plan. The Upscale section allows you to increase image quality. 1x is available in the free plan, while higher upscaling options are exclusive to premium users. Keep in mind that the free plan applies a watermark to all images. To remove the watermark and unlock all features, you'll need to upgrade to a subscription plan. Now I'll click on Export Canvas as Image, and just like that, the final image is saved to my device. A quick note, I want to clarify that I'm just a content creator, and I haven't received any payment from Design AI. This is not a sponsored video, and I made it purely for educational purposes. As you've seen, I only use the free plan in this tutorial. In this tutorial, you've learned how to transform images into 3D animation and cartoon styles using AI-powered tools. With fine-tuned settings and practice, you can achieve amazing results. This is just the beginning, and now you have access to a world of endless possibilities. Now it's your turn to jump in and start creating. The sooner you start experimenting, the better your results will be. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on converting images into 3D animation styles. If you learned something new, now is the perfect time to smash the like button. More mind-blowing AI tutorials are on the way, and they're going to blow your mind. If you want to take your learning to the next level and never miss a tutorial, subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Remember. AI is the future, and it's time to embrace it with open arms. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, because something truly exciting is coming your way.